All right, guys, so I made the decision. I want to switch from PC gaming heavily over to console gaming. Now, this is not me saying I'm never going to play games on my PC ever again. That'd be completely false, but I think I'm going to shift a lot more of my focus back over to console gaming. And the reason why is because I've been bitten in the ass way too many times with bad PC ports and performance issues and all the sorts, you know? And I'm just kind of tired of sitting there having to research different forums to figure out what the fixes are or downloading community mods to fix the issues or turning this setting down or this setting off. You know, that's what kind of PC gaming tends to be nowadays. And I also noticed that it seems like a lot of PC games run much better on older hardware. And it's probably because, you know, a lot of the consumers that, you know, are on PCs are really far behind. You know, a lot of people are still running like RTX 2060s, 1660 Ti's, stuff like that. So the developers more or less were coding for that older hardware where people like me that has an RTX 4080, it seems like the optimization is just not really there yet. And it seems like the hardware and, and the pacing with this new hardware coming out is not really in line with how games run with it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe once direct storage comes out, things will be a much different situation. But as of right now, it seems like, you know, NVIDIA, AMD, they're pumping out all this stuff and these games aren't really being able to utilize the full potential of these new graphics cards or CPUs and stuff like that. You see what I mean? Take Gotham Knights as a perfect example. The game just had really bad optimization. Now, not only on PC, you know, consoles were kind of being affected by this too, but, you know, there was people running RTX 4090s and all sorts of other things, the latest hardware, and the game just couldn't keep up. It was still stuttery, lots of frame drops, this and that, and this, this sort of stuff tends to happen more with PC gaming, and I understand, you know, when developers make games, they kind of develop these games with consoles in mind first and PCs afterwards, you know, that's kind of how it typically goes. Make the game for the console, optimize it for that, and then port it over to the PC, and you're not always getting the best product when it comes to, you know, the PC game because, you know, it was originally developed for, say, the Series X or the PS5, and then you're just getting a port of that to the PC. Take Callisto Protocol as a perfect example. This game just came out, and I'm already hearing there's a lot of performance issues with it on PC, stuttering the usual mess that you typically get with PC gaming, and we're kind of over the hump now of COVID being the main excuse. Oh, you know, COVID really affected this and slowed this down and made development so much harder. We're over that now. You know, that whole situation should be far behind us at this point and things should be back to normal. But this is kind of becoming the new norm with not just PC gaming, but gaming in general, even with consoles too. You know, these developers are kind of uh, put into a situation where they're forced and pressured to release this stuff before they know it's even finished because the publishers want that moolah. So they rather get their money first and then they just tell the devs to fix it later once they already have our money. And it's not really fair, uh, but that's typically how gaming goes nowadays. And I think until we actually put our foots down with it, things really aren't going to get any better. Um, but yeah, you know, mainly I just want more of that plug and play experience. That's what I want to go back to. I just want to fire up my console, you know, go to the game and there you go. I don't have to touch settings. I don't have to fix things. I don't have to download mods to try to counteract these issues that are going on with these games, you know. And what makes it even harder about being on PC is we're basically the developers. We kind of have to fine tune things uh, to kind of work for our systems individually. You know, uh, something might be off in the BIOS that you have to turn on or something you know is on that should be turned off or maybe your ram isn't overclocked to the correct uh speeds that they're rated for and stuff like that so you're running at slower speeds there's a lot of stuff that we have to do uh as, as developers essentially to get these issues cleaned up and optimized for these unoptimized games and then you also have to wait for the developers to optimize the games on their end so not only are we having to optimize the hardware but usually we have to try to tend to fix the software issues as well because the developers nine times out of ten don't do a super great job some of them do some of them don't 
Um, you know, it's not like when you're playing on, you know, a PS5 or an Xbox and it's like, okay, say there's a software issue on there. It's like, okay, Sony's going to roll out a patch for that or Microsoft's going to roll out a patch for that to fix those with a software update where when you're on PC, you're kind of on your own. You know, you have to just kind of figure things out, fine tune things to work with your specific hardware. And man, after a while, it just gets annoying. I just want to play the damn game. I want to fire the game up. I want to play it. No questions asked. And then when I'm done, I want to turn the console off and be done with it. Now, I'm trying to speak from, you know, an unbiased standpoint because I just love gaming as a whole. I don't care if I'm on a console or a PC, whatever I'm getting the best experience on, that's what I'm going to play it on. And, you know, sadly, after spending so much money on this hardware that I have, and I've played on different configurations, I had a different computer than what I do now, and I still had issues even on there, but it just seemed like the issues started to get worse as I started to upgrade my hardware. That's one thing that I noticed, you know, I was able to run Cyberpunk 2077 perfectly fine on an RTX 2060. Of course, I wasn't running like ray tracing or anything, you know, it was like medium settings and stuff like that, of course. Um, but the game ran great. There was no like stuttering or anything like that. And I think it's because that game was actually made in reverse as to what it's normal. Like, like normally it's made for the console first and the PC, like I said before, but this time it was made more on PC and then sort of ported to the console. So I think that's why PC players were getting better uh, experiences. At least I was, I had nothing to complain about really. Uh, on the PC version or port of Cyberpunk. Um, so yeah, I mean, you're not always going to get that, you know, super solid experience though. That's just not usually how it is. It's usually consoles first, PC port later, and then we usually have to clean up the issues. And I just kind of get sick of that after a while. I just want to play the game, like I said. Um, I want to have fun, and then I want to be done, you know? I, I don't want to have to play a game and they go, oh, no, this is happening now. And then, oh, this frame drop uh, thing is happening in this area of the map. And now i got to figure out how to do this and fix this. And no, I just want to play the game. That's it. I want to turn it on, turn it off. And, that, and that's it, you know, and, and that's the point I'm trying to make here. That's why I'm kind of switching mainly over to console over PC. Like I said, there's still going to be times where I play stuff on the PC, you know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, the multiplayer runs great, but then you got Warzone 2.0. That's a completely different story. That runs like absolute ass cheeks on the computer. A lot of stutters, you know, I, I go to jump out of the plane and the damn thing stutters. Uh, you know, it, it's just a mess. And then when I'm on the map too, same thing, you know, I'll be running around for a little bit. Oh, there's a stutter. There's choppy frames. There it's a mess. You know, I, I'm sick of also having to deal with, you know, G-Sync on, V-Sync on, or V-Sync off, you know. There's just so much stuff, so many settings, so many different things. You got to play with config files sometimes with these PC games. It just becomes tiring, you know. It, it's just, you're doing more tinkering than you actually are playing the damn game, and that's what's kind of ruining the PC experience for me. Now, if you're somebody that's not having any of these issues, then great. Disregard everything I'm saying. You do you, boy, you know. But, uh, you know, in my situation, playing on different hardware configurations and stuff like that, it's, it's just a mess. It's all over the place. You know, I, I'm running on literally the latest stuff. I have a Ryzen 9 7900X CPU. I have DDR5 uh, clocked to 6,000 millihertz RAM. You know, I have just really good components of my computer and a lot of games I just find myself doing more tinkering than actually playing. And it's just like, where is the fun in all of that at the end of the day? You know, it's great for a while because then it's like when you think you found the fix finally, you get excited. But then when you realize that's not actually the fix, you're disappointed again and then it's back to the drawing board to try to figure out the next solution that you could come up with and, and that's where I kind of draw the line here and that's why like I said I'd rather just plug and play and call it a day so um, that's basically everything I wanted to talk about here in this video let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section if you enjoyed everything that I talked about here leave a like on the video subscribe turn the bell on and all of that cool stuff. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Have an awesome rest of your day or night, and see you later.